afternoon, Broward County Public Schools are putting off focus on school safety and asking residents to help foot the bill. The district is asking voters to consider the initiative later this month. In addition to school safety, the proposed tax would help address teacher pay and more. CBS 4's Gary Nelson reports. At a campaign style event, school board members, administrators, and teachers promoted the half mill education tax voters will be asked to impose on themselves in the August primary. It's prompted partly by unfunded mandates the state imposed on every school district after the St. Valentine's Day massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland. The legislature also requires every school to have a safe school officer, but did not provide enough funding to cover that cost. Come the first day of school, every school must have a cop or specially trained armed guard on campus. In a school district where we are still healing from the tragedy we experienced just six months ago, ensuring that our children and their educators are safe at school has to be a top priority. But the proposed tax that would raise $93 million a year would also raise teacher salaries in a town where the cost of living is high. You all know it's more expensive to live here in South Florida than it is in a panhandle. A possible problem facing the proposed tax hike at the ballot box is it provides an ambiguous laundry list of spending to expand educational opportunities, what some voters could view as a blank check they'd be unwilling to sign. None of the family of the victims were at today's event. Indeed, some of them have scheduled a media availability this week where they will call for Robert Runcie, the superintendent of Broward Schools, to step down, saying it's time for the district to have new leadership. In Fort Lauderdale, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.